So welcome back to the channel. Today is a good day down here in the fish room. It's actually a maintenance day. Currently doing some water changes. Let me actually turn that down a little bit. That way I don't overflow the tank too much while I'm talking. But I wanted to give you guys a little update on all the breeding projects that's going on down here in the fish room and all these babies I got. I got tons of babies down here. So we'll start over here at this tank. This is a tank that is housing my lemurs and as you can see look at all these little babies in here just tons of them here's mom down here now these are a live bear um, and there's one of those type of fish where you have to really be into live bears to really appreciate this fish um the male is in here somewhere he's probably hiding behind the horn work yeah i can see him right there just a beautiful beautiful fish man now there's tons of different species of lemurs um this is probably not the most colorful one uh, there's definitely a lot better looking ones, but this is also still a good fish and really easy fish to breed. Um, you can get a lot of babies from them. The female is actually pregnant now. I'll give her probably another week and I'll move her so I can get some more fry out of them. But just one of those type of fish that if you're a true live bear fan, you would love to breed this fish. So really enjoy them. And I just can't wait to grow them up so I can get them out to you guys in the public. That tank filling up right now. Now let's take a look at all the rest of the stuff that's going on. See, we got the orange sword tails. We got a lot of new babies from them. So I'm going to show you guys those here in just a second. I'm going to stop right here at this tank. This is my German peacock African cichlid breeding tank. These are all the females that you see. They all pretty stressed out right now because the male must be flared up. He down here. I'm um, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, peacock cichlid. The males are just amazing. Like, look at dude just beautiful and that's in the dark come out to the front so the people can see you but he's just a beautiful beautiful fish and i've been breeding these guys like crazy um so i'm gonna show you a couple batches of the babies i just actually moved their second batch down to this little 20 gallon right here that i'm currently growing them out in now there's also some long fin albino bristlenose plecos growing out of here as well I think I added about 50 of these Africans into this tank. Um, I think I got another tank about another 50 of them as well. So I got quite a few of these. And my goal really is to try to get a lot of those beautiful males. Um, I know people are really into males and I just think that it's a beautiful fish. The females aren't the best, but that's like with any peacock cichlid. But, you know, hopefully people can really enjoy the males. I definitely do. So that's what's going on in that tank over here. Uh, these are all the babies to the African single that you guys just seen at the beginning in that tank. Um, this is like, I think two or three batches that I've been growing out. They got a nice size, so I moved them into this tank so they can get a lot bigger. I'm um, just curious to see how they're going to come out and just take the best ones and just keep breeding the bag just to make the line pure. But there's probably like another 50 of them guys in this tank right now. And uh, nothing like having babies. Nothing like having babies. Now, over in this tank, just moved in, probably about 30 or 40 orange swordtail fry. You can see these guys are like super tiny. Let me turn the aperture down, you guys can see them a little bit better. Um, but there's like 30 or 40 of these orange swordtail babies in here. Just tons of them everywhere. Um, so, finally got some new babies out of them. And what really makes it easy to get them numbers is because I put the females in these breeder nets. And then the females give birth, they fall into the tank. And then I'm able to catch them out. That's why I got the net in here because I was catching out babies. And there's a nice little guppy uh, female right here. A couple of them in there. But yeah, that's how I'm able to get all the fry. So I can get the big numbers. Instead of 8 to 10 with most live bears, I can get the full batch. I'm um, going to just help you increase your numbers. Especially if you somebody that's trying to sell fish or produce big numbers. Now there's also some albino bristlenose plecos some brown bristlenose plecos and some calico so the breeding group i got is a brown and calico mix and they pretty much produce everything so i get browns i get calicos and i also get the albino so i put about 30 of those guys in here you can see some brown ones right here so i put about 30 in here I'm just going to grow these guys out with these um, baby sore tails um, and that's what's going on in this tank over here is another uh, type of like a variatus platys or like some regular orange platys, orange and black platys that I'm growing out, some nice little babies. Quite a few in here as well. You can see like this boy, I like his uh, coloration. It's a nice little fish. So just growing them out of here. 
um, see what they are, re breed them, and get more. That's pretty much it. Now over here to the show, guys, this is what I really want to show you guys today, is the Turk Canna Baby. See, we got quite a few of those out and about. Dad has been feisty all day today. He's been chasing the female. He probably got her down in the cave. I'm really debating, should I move these guys out of here? Not 100% sure. Uh, do I really want them to survive? Even though I know they're gonna breed again, I'll get plenty of batches of them. But I just wanna make sure these guys survive. So I'm trying to decide, do I wanna move them or not? Let's see if the male come out. Come on out, don't be scared. But he is just beautiful. There you go, I had to back away. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. But he's been really mean to the female this morning. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with him just yet. I think if I take the babies out, he'll calm down. Down here is a nice species of grass guppies that I'm working with. Got a nice female right here, and a nice little male back there. Now these guys, there's also like some little small fry here as well. Now these, I wanna start moving out some of the ones that started to get some color, like them nice males, start moving to a different tank so I can keep the colony going. I think I got like two males in here. And I'm already seeing it's gonna be quite a few females. So that's always a good thing when you got a nice female heavy. But just a simple little guppy. You gotta keep guppies around, man. You have to keep guppies. And now here is another batch of the albino German peacocks. These guys are probably like a week or so older than the other ones. So it's like another 30 or 40 in here. And so just growing these guys out uh, so that way I can get as many of those beautiful males so I can sell you guys some trio. I know some people will really love some trios so you guys can breed them yourself. Uh, so can't go wrong with that. Up here, we got the albino bristle nose long fin. This is another batch that I got that I've been growing out. These guys are starting to put on a lot of size. There's tons of them in here. I think it's like 60 maybe 70 of those in here. I don't even know, to be honest. They're just everywhere. Uh, so they growing out of here with the sore tails. Well, not sore tails, sorry, the endler guppies. Well, just endlers, not guppies, but endlers. And they got a lot of babies here as well. So just another fun little tank. I just, that's what I love about uh, fish keeping is just breeding the fish, growing the babies up and watching them grow. Same with this tank right here. We got all these zebra bleak wing babies that are starting to put on some nice size and there's some yellow lab babies as well they was pretty tiny but they're starting to really uh look good right now so we'll have these guys available as well there's some couple nice big males in here um they really outshone they never had the glass like this so they outshone today now i'm also breeding these guys over here which are these peacocks uh, I think it's like a red Eureka peacock. You see that nice male in there. It's actually a female holder right here. But I just moved a lot of their babies down over to this tank right here. Got about 30 or 40 of these guys in this little 10 gallon. So I'm gonna start growing them up and hopefully we can keep this line going. I think it's a really beautiful uh, peacock. When I breed peacocks, I breed them off the males, how beautiful the males are. They, beautiful to my eye then I think other people will like them as well so quite a few of those babies in there can't go wrong and then the last little tanker fry I got is all these little oh we got a little bent Timmy right here I never noticed him got a little bent Timmy these are some more endler fry to those over there um, that I just got in here growing out and while we're here let's and appreciate the plants because I've never been good at growing no sorts and now it's just this tank i don't know even like this pogo stemma starting to grow up to the surface it's crazy i don't even know and then like this weird uh sword right here i never really i don't know i've never really had success growing those oh there's a little shrimp in here i don't know how he got in there well, that's good you keeping it clean keeping it clean now there's more stuff going on some breeding projects um just really want to start breeding these guys look at that fish i had to show them I had to have to show him just beautiful I want to start breeding those guys and then we do have a lot of the Maltese down here breeding actually look I just there's tons of babies out right now look at all those that's a new batch that's definitely a new batch that's nice to see and then they still got so that's dad remember I told you guys it's dad 
that's the side chick and this the main woman and he went over here and had more kids with the side chick boy i tell you i should catch these guys out of here and raise them up separately uh, once i get the new tanks in this weekend that's exactly what i'm going to do and start a whole colony of the multis so we can have these guys breeding as well so yeah it's just a lot of breeding going on um these uh, electric blue cars are working on it anytime i see like the fish like their foreheads turn real like dark or they turn real dark in the face i know they're ready to spawn um, so i just like really feed them a lot and do some make sure they're ready to go and hopefully we can get some babies and i got another pair in here as well that i'm trying to get going so we're gonna see what happens because these are one of my favorite fish and i would just love to have hundreds and hundreds of babies of these as well so that's pretty much it a little quick update we got more coming I'm going to give y'all a little hint. Look at all that over there. There's a lot of fish over there. You guys will see that in the next video. Um, so that's it. Leave me some suggestions some comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.